Boys, this is our team. We're about to hop into Mutt Champs. We got to win 16 out of 20 games to get the maximum rewards. And we just spent a rack uh, upgrading this team for the Team of the Week theme team. So we need to win. Otherwise, I will be humiliated. We got a new quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, I think, is the current best quarterback in the game as long as you're using the Team of the Week theme team. He's got 85 speed so he can move. 91 throw power, which is insane. And he hits all his accuracy thresholds. I've always liked Trevor Lawrence. And I think the reason this card is actually much better than he may seem is because of this ability, Gift Wrapped. One issue I've had with high balls is you drop them a lot. But with Gift Wrapped, your guys apparently have hands of gold and they cannot drop the ball. So I'm hoping that Gift Wrapped makes this card worth it. We also have a lot of other Team of the Week players to compliment him, which also get plus two speed. Starting with McAllister, the Raiders receiver, coming in at a very fast 89 speed. Now keep in mind this speed boost only lasts for a week. So while these guys are very expensive and top of the line right now, once that speed boost is gone, they're not going to be nearly as valuable. So it is a very expensive upgrade to make to your team if you want to have the best Team of the Week guys. But at 90 overall after the, the chem boost, I mean, I'd say if you got the coins, it's definitely worth it. We also got Velas Jones Jr., who, despite not being a limited, also has 89 speed and is all the way up at an 89 overall. So the Team of the Week... Plus two speed is by far the best theme team in the game, and it makes all the Team of the Week players very, very overpowered for the time you're using them. We also spent an arm and a leg and a cock to get this guy right here, Tony Jefferson. 89 speed at 5'11". He's got very bad man coverage, 78, but he's got 88 zone and 88 hit power. So we're going to try to keep him in zone coverage, and we're going to see if he plays any better than the other traffic cone pylon burgers that we've put out there at safety who can never play shit. Hopefully Tony's different. I forgot. Tony Jefferson is the fastest player in the game. 90 speed because he's not only a Cardinal, which is a part of our Cardinals theme team, but he gets the plus two speed for team of the week. So Tony Jefferson, I mean, I spent 1.7 mil. You better play like 1.7 mil, buddy. We also got the limited Nate Wiggins that came out today. Uh, the Ravens sadly lost in a very close game to the Chiefs, so he doesn't get the plus one boost. I think Xavier Worthy, the other limited, gets a plus one boost, so Xavier Worthy is going to be insane. And then joining those DBs, we got Antonio Cromartie, big play slay, center fielder Paul Krause. We got the brand new Luke Keekley, all, all pro Fred Warner still making the team, Miles Garrett, and of course, Max Crosby. We're still rocking the Colts offense, typically running bunch offset and bunch strong X nasty and on defense. The Eagles playbook running 6-1 and double mug. All four of those formations ebooks can be found at school.com slash maze island. We've uploaded the schemes that I am currently running. So if you're watching me dominate online, pounding these kids into the fucking dirt and you want to learn how I'm doing it, school.com slash maze island is the spot for you. Today's sponsor is the number one spot to play fantasy sports, Underdog Fantasy. The best way to test your sports knowledge is through Underdog's Pick'em Game. And the rules are simple. You pick higher or lower on a player's stat total for the week. And if you're correct, you can win big. The more picks you pair together on an entry, the more money you can win. So, for example, if you had five picks correct on one entry, you would 20x the amount you put on that entry. So, for example, I just submitted an entry where I have a free pick on Travis Kelsey higher than 0.5 yards, Anthony Richardson higher than nine rushing attempts, and Lamar Jackson lower than 32 and a half passing attempts. Now, to play Underdog's Pick'em game, you have to be 18 years or older and reside in a state where Underdog is operational. There's also a $1,000 deposit match for all first-time signups if you use code maze so there's no better time to sign up than the start of nfl season there's free picks there's promo there's free money given out so go sign up on underdog today and use code maze now back to the video that's us right there boys the dpz falcons and we're going against seven eight nine he's got sertan lawrence and maserati marv a very good team a very impressive squad he's got and we're playing in a way an away game let's see let's see if he can beat the cpu can he do it that was wide open. Why was that so why was that so open? Good dot, I guess, kid. I'm gonna be using Jefferson. That looks like a dot. But it's not! Third and one. There we go. Oh, he just he high Okay, this guy's good. I'm not gonna lie. First opponent, 789. This guy's actually good. The fact that he high passed that is a little scary. I'm not I'm not kidding. That's a little scary. If I lose my first game, I think I go get a job at Walmart. Oh, good dot. I'm an idiot. 
He's an idiot. He keep, okay, this guy's high passing everything. He's got Trevor Lawrence, so he's got gift wrapped, and he's high passing everything. No subs at all. Okay. All right, this guy's ass. All right, I was so scared. I was so scared at first, but I'm not scared anymore because we got a man on our team who likes to make big plays. His name is Darius Slay, and he's getting ran down by Trevor Lawrence. What the fuck? Trevor Metcalf? I mean, how does that happen? Darius Slay, how does that happen? Truly, I am uh, I am in awe. They should call him Small Play Slay from now on. That That is unacceptable. Small Play Slay. Very, uh, slightly above average play, Slay. Looks like he's running dollar. A little A-gap ski. Oh, fuck. I mean, that's crazy. We got the golden thumbs. They call me Midas Maze because I get in that end zone. Everything I touch turns to gold. How does he catch that? I feel like I was literally running it with him. I'm going to use her right now. I'm not. Great run, D. Great run, D. So, guys, with the new double mug, it doesn't come in as easily. But I what I want to do is you got to stand, like, right here. And you got to you gotta touch one of the O-linemen if you really want. Is he not manned up? Oh, good dot. Good dot. Good dot. He was manned up on the other guy. Good dot. Call me crazy. But, brother, I'm insane. I'm user in Jefferson. He got me. Was that stupid? Yes. That's all there is to it. No other words. No other, no other things necessary. He's in what looks like nickel 3-3. Three-man pass rush. I'm throwing it. Trevor Lawrence on the money. It's McAllister into the open field. He's down at the one-yard line. 72 yards on the opening pass for Trevor Lawrence. I mean, wow. Was that hot or what, boys? I see his user running there. I understand that he thought he could run with it, but we got 89 speed on that guy. And we're in the end zone with a nice little run, following it up. We take our lead back. Let's play a little defense, boys. As long as we don't get stopped on the offensive side of the ball, everything will be okay. Usually, I'm really rough on my first few games on. The reason I like match here is because... A, a lot of people don't have match beaters. I know it's very easy to bomb match if you know what you're doing. But I have a feeling a lot of the people I'm going to play tonight are not going to know how to bomb match. And as long as I have that universal deep zone X factor. GG's, buddy. That's an 83 overall linebacker. And I just ran all over that route. Just absolutely bagged the shit out of it. We're on a nice high-level trips right here. Trying to see what he's got. He's got... open this guy can't handle the match I'm a matchmaker get out of there come on center fielder keep going come on you're on your feet that's how you take a pick back to the house and if you get ran down by Trevor Lawrence I'm gonna lose it but Darius Slay take fucking notes right Ryan, Ryan said high-level trips in quotes all right Ryan not every trips needs to be you're like God tier trips okay you run a God tier trips Good dot. Ow, good dot. Jesus. He's running a little edge pressure. I mean, are we fucking joking, Trevor Lawrence? High pass on the run. Illegal contact as well. We're going to decline that. Get in there, CJ. Come on, baby. Shouldn't have played so aggressive. He's blitzing heavy off that left side. Didn't have a flat defender there to replace. And that's an easy touchdown. Did they fix the sand glitch? No. They tried, but they, it didn't work. You can only throw that corner out so many times, kid. You can only throw it so many times. All right, I'm going to click on. I'm going to make the play. And now the game's officially over. I should at least kick three. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh. It do not matter. All right, boys. He is in uh, Gun Bunch X Nasty. Gun Bunch Strong X Nasty. No, this is just Gun Bunch X Nasty. This is very interesting. Now five wide. Or Gun Bunch wide. There. What a way to start. Paul Krause breaks so many tackles. 
This dude's insane. We just watched him do this last game. And he does it again in the second game. Paul Krause, you are the MVP. And guess what, boys? Because we restarted the stream, we get to watch that on replay. One broken tackle, two broken tackles. He is just an animal. And it's not the X Factor. GG's, buddy. I would get out of my game if I were you. I'm just saying, hypothetically, if I were you, I'd probably just get up out of here and leave. All right. All right, this team's on steroids. It's true, I fucking, I gave him a little anabolics. It's true, I gave him a little anabolics. Look at us, dude. These teams don't stand a chance, if we're being honest. I can't, I can't get in the open field, though. These teams don't stand a chance, if I'm being honest. There we go. Hey, 2-0, oh, boys. How do they give me the same guy twice? I'm not even gonna turn off the music. We're just gonna, we're just gonna run through it. I won. There's no way that anyone in their right mind is saying the Chargers or the Broncos over the Chiefs. You're a Chiefs fan, and you just want me to say Chiefs. That's what it is. I said the whole thing. No, I, I just reread it. You're right. My bad. I, I'm so sorry for yelling at you. I, I was just, I'm more just so pissed that Xavier were, like, when they got rid of Tyree Kill, it was like, okay, finally, the Chiefs can get, you know, down a notch. Finally. You know what, Travis? Kelsey's getting a little older. Finally, we're, we're in a spot where... Nice. We're in a spot where the Chiefs might start to lose a little dominance. And then they get Xavier Worthy. And you're like, okay, maybe Xavier Worthy... Maybe Xavier Worthy is going to be like, you know... Like a Henry Ruggs, where even though he's really fast... Or maybe like a John Ross, where he's really fast, but... He's not going to be utilized, you know, correctly. And he's just not going to pan out the way you think. And then game one, Xavier Worthy gets two touchdowns, man. All right. All right. All right. All right, this guy is struggling severely. I don't know why he's really staying in the game. <sighs> Sharon, if your new man treated you any better, you wouldn't be in my fucking chat. You wouldn't be hanging out on the corners of Maze Island waiting for my attention at every turn. All right, Sharon? So you can keep lying. But newsflash, Sharon, people who are doing well don't need everyone to know that they're doing well. They just are doing well. All right, Sharon? Impressive performance. Hell yeah, it's an impressive performance. You better quit out. Please quit out. I beg you. I don't want to sit in this game. I'm up 21-0. Please. He quit out. I mean, holy hell, he quit out. All right, we're 3-0. If you'd like to take your Madden game to the next level, take a trip on down to Maze Island. At school.com slash Maze Island, it's a one-stop shop for competitive Madden. Every scheme I run in-game, you can learn over in the classroom section of Maze Island. We're constantly updating all these ebooks as the online meta changes, so you'll always be up to date with the best schemes in the game. This covers not only Madden 25, but also College Football 25. So once again, if you want to level up your Madden skills, that's school.com slash Maze Island. I'll see you there. When you're in the playoffs, the thing is you're going against teams that have been probably saving a lot of stuff on offense and defense in their playbook to wait to run it until playoffs. And so when it comes to playoffs, a lot of teams have stuff in their playbook they're pulling out. And, and these are good teams playing their heart out. It's a different story in the playoffs. And a lot of teams don't win in the playoffs. The Bills have struggled in the playoffs. Close games. Uh, Lamar Jackson has lost a lot of close games in the playoffs. It's common. And, you know, you take a couple plays away from Mahomes. Crucial plays. Crucial uh, penalties, questionable penalties. And suddenly Mahomes has that same narrative. Now, obviously, there's a big enough sample size where like no one's gonna say Mahomes chokes in the playoffs. It's in, in fact quite the opposite. But I'm saying it, it comes down to su such close games, so much of it out of your control. Does your defense get off the field in this situation? Does the penalty go your way in this situation? Where, and it all falls back on the quarterback. Sounds like a hater because I am uh, defending Dak Prescott using other quarterbacks as examples. So I'm a hater. Sounds like you're a hater, bro. Lamar lost the game tonight by missing open receivers in the end. That's true, he did miss two, two passes. That's 100% true. But at the same time, 
There were some penalties that uh, went against them, some crucial ones. Wow, we're just sacking this dude left and right. Almighty Heem 4 getting sacked. You want to talk about QBs getting gifted? Let's talk about Brady. I mean, dude, it happens to many great quarterbacks. Every great quarterback, you could look at things and say, like, wow, that was so lucky. And that's because a lot of it is. A lot of it is actually lucky. Obviously, a lot of it's not lucky, too, but a lot of it is lucky. You cannot control what happens on the defensive side of the ball, for example. A quarterback has no control over that. So in these crucial games, a, a defense playing well, it's got nothing to do with the quarterback. The only thing a quarterback can influence in that way is ball control, which Tom Brady did very well. Wow, what a punt. That's like the best punt I've ever seen in my life. Dak is a good quarterback. I don't think he's got some crazy, like, choking gene in him. Like, I don't think, I think he's just had a couple, you know, bad games in big moments. <laughs> But I think he's got it in him. I don't think it's like a fucking... I, think, I don't think any quarterback gets to that level and is a choker. Like, you can go through slumps for sure. Yo, I love this Trevor Lawrence card. I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't matter if you get a clean blitz. They made a four-man pass rush in this game so good. Coverage is the worst I've ever seen, it, but the pass rush is, like, just surprisingly really good. On the money, Trevor. Come on. Yep. Trevor Lawrence doesn't miss throws, boys. Trevor Lawrence does not make mistakes. A lot of people are having trouble beating this match, and I love it. Match coverage is good. If you don't really understand how it works. Oh. Ooh. I take back what I said. Well, you know the problem there? The problem there was not actually the coverage. It was my fault. Okay, that was my fault. No, that was my fault 100%. I tried to switch stick onto the inside safety and run with a corner route, but I accidentally switched onto the outside corner, and I still ran with the corner route, but it left the post wide open. CJ Stratus top three. See, again, this, there's a lot. Of, there's going to be a lot of debate, but personally, I cannot put CJ Stroud at. Uh, I cannot put CJ Stroud at number, at number two or number three. He's had one season. That throw. That's the first throw that he's missed. What? Jesus Christ. All right, we gotta, we gotta move the ball. He's just running straight man coverage. I know we can beat man very easily. Okay, the top three are Mahomes, Burrow, and Lamar Jackson. I don't know if it's in that order. Burrow and Lamar are just such different types of players. You know, it's like literally apples and oranges. And like, if you, I think the way Lamar plays though, with his mobility, despite not being as good of a passer, still makes him harder to play against uh, for, for opposing teams. Personally, I think Lamar is a better, like, asset for the Ravens than Burrow is for the Bengals. But they're both top, top class, right? And then I'll put Josh Allen at number four after last year. Didn't like him last year. Played really bad. I mean, what a fucking throw. Holy shit, Joe. I almost called him Joe Burrow. Trevor Lawrence, dude. Did you guys see that throw? I'm feeling like John Beast out here. I'm feeling like John Beast out here. I really, I, dude, that was crazy. That was insane. Jackson, Burrow, Allen, number five. If we're just talking, like, who would you take? I would absolutely take C.J. Stroud, just based on how he played. But I don't know if you can say, like, in his current state. He's just so young that it's like, in his current state, is, does he deserve the five spot? I, I cannot give it to Herbert. Talk about choking in the playoffs. Talk about can't win a game. At what point do people blame Herbert? It's always Brandon Staley's fault. It's always the defense's fault. He's the one quarterback that everybody gives excuses to. If, if any other quarterback had as many horrific losses with, like, four possession leads and they somehow lose the game over and over and over again. But, but it's, never, it's never Herbert's fault. And I understand. Things happen. Give me my rock, kid. Things happen. Things happen. But they always lose in those games. Number five, I'm going uh, Aaron Rodgers. Maze is proving that he don't know ball. Yeah, you're just a Herbert apologist, buddy. Don't talk to me.
Listen, I know Herbert's a good quarterback. I'm not saying he's not. But, I mean, like, at what point do you need results? At what point do you need results? Like, again, at what point do you just say, okay, maybe some of those losses were his fault. Maybe the 27-point... Maybe the 27-point comeback that he gave up in the playoffs is maybe a little his fault. This dude's getting after the quarterback. Jesus. The Achilles injury was a fluke injury that, I mean, took him out for a whole season. So the last we saw of him, he was still elite. So I, I just don't think you can completely disregard him because he is a little older now. I just don't think you can disregard Rodgers. I, I would still, I would still, I would put Rodgers at least in the top 10. I, I would say maybe even higher, but I understand people disagreeing with that. I'm just reading chat. Did he win MVP or not? I didn't know that before. Obviously, I didn't know that when we first started talking about it. But everyone in chat started, okay. I literally just got ball sack in my mouth. So it was the year before that then. But back-to-back -back MVPs, an off year, and now he's ass. I still feel like he was solid even when they were 8-9. I, I, I think he was still good, to be honest. In my opinion. I don't ever remember him being completely ass. Yeah, but I think you're getting into the fallacy of thinking that a bad team can ever be good. The Chiefs were pretty ass not too long ago. And now nobody would question that. The Patriots were really fucking good not too long ago. Right. I've always loved watching Rodgers play. I don't think he was asked. But again, you can have an opinion on sports. And like half the people will say you are an absolute R word. You are so stupid. You obviously know nothing. And then half the, the people will agree with you. So it's, it's hilarious that so many people have such like objective opinions about sports when a lot of it is an opinion. Obviously, stats matter, but there's different teams with different teammates, different coaches, different schemes. And so, like, there's a lot that goes into it, and a lot of it's opinion-based. So to be calling other people stupid just because they don't agree with you is kind of a low IQ move. A, a low IQ... Interception. It's a low IQ move, in my eyes, to call someone else an idiot unless they have a complete... Unless they're saying, like, you know, something like... Jackson Mahomes is the MVP. Then it's like, all right, bro. GG's, man. 4-0, baby. Hot one. Uh-oh. I would have been gone. I get the Gluck Luck 5,000 if I went eight in a row. Oh, I, oh, can do. Thanks for the offer, Sharon. I'm throwing this shit. Oh, come on, Trevor. I didn't even free form it. Could have ran for 10 yards. I wanted to take the big play. You know, I had faith that Trevor Lawrence could hit a goddamn throw. Apparently, I was wrong. Apparently, I was wrong. And I don't like being wrong, Trevor. Never let it happen again. You will be cut. I don't care how much you cost. I don't care how much I pay you, Trevor. You will be cut. Baker's actually really impressed me. I can't lie. Wow. Baker's really impressed me. Uh, I used to be a Baker hater, but I will say over the last couple years, I think he's done a lot of good. My expectations for Baker are not to be, you know, Tom Brady. They're not to be Mahomes. My, my expectations for Baker, if he can hold a starting job and keep his team somewhat competitive, that is more than I expected from him after his first couple years. Okay, we just missed that tackle. All right, cool. Literally, sl literally slid off him like he's covered in lube. Why is he covered in lube? Who covered Christian McCaffrey in lube? I want to know. Show yourself. Hey, watch it. Wow, that was a weird catch. What's with these players, like, glitching and shit? Good tackle, man. If we didn't get that tackle, he might have been gone. This guy just wants to get the ball to McCaffrey at all costs. Any cost. McCaffrey's getting the rock. Sharon, it's one thing to wreak havoc in my personal life. But to come onto my fucking football field, rub my opponent's running back with lube. That is a different low that I never even thought you'd stoop to. Sharon, get the fuck out of here. You are banned from the stadium. Idiot. You tried to strafe, right? But you tried to strafe a little too hard. You're flat footed. If you if you were my player and I was your coach. You'd be running until your legs fell off. Get there. Oh, what are you doing? Jefferson. 
1.7 million for you to fuck. I better never see that fucking footwork again from you, Jefferson. Sharon a freak. Oh, is she a freak. Not the good kind either. Good dot. All right, this guy's actually dotting my shit now. That's a fucking... Bro, that is a flat zone. That was wide open. Oh, but it's not! Absolutely crushed, brother. Muser and Stern ad. Okay, gotta watch ETN. I'm gonna pass commit. Okay, maybe I shouldn't pass commit. Okay, I'm gonna pass commit. What are we doing? He doesn't even get off the ground. All you gotta do is swat it. Come on, man. That was just the beginning. Don't go out of bounds. Just, okay, thank you. They stopped going out of bounds. I gotta throw it. The only reason I did that is in case this guy's an idiot and doesn't uh, doesn't call his timeouts. Some people just literally don't understand clock management. So like if this guy doesn't call timeouts, I could take like a minute and a half off the clock. I'm not gonna score here. If I only get three out of this, then so be it. Don't go to bounce. Don't go to bounce. Thank you. I only I'm, I'm or, I I want to go up two possessions because I get ball a half. So like a, a field goal does good for me here. I think he's gonna. Okay, hold on, hold on. Illegal contact. I'm gonna accept. I'm not gonna take the touchdown. See, now I'm doing too much. Like, this is still. If I was playing like a super mega sweat, like if I was playing Henry, I should have accepted that. But I'm playing this guy. Pick off King 04. Hey, hey. I should have just taken the touchdown and you know called it a day. See, I'm I'm not gonna score. Now there's only 10 seconds left. And I still got my seven. See how that works, boys? Fortune favors the bold. Hey, shout out to my man Braylon Overton with the sub on TikTok. Oh, God. This guy's run game is actually looking pretty good. Can't lie. He's doing a good job in the run game. Okay. No longer doing a good job in the run game. Mostert or A-Chain for fantasy? I have both. I would start A-Chain. I would start A-Chain. The issue is probably just uh, longevity, like injuries. But Mostert also has that issue. He's old. I'm going A-Chain. We're kicking three, down 14. This is just... You haven't got one stop. And this is what we're doing? Said COVID last week. Bro, I got COVID like four times. We get the win. All right, so he's rushing four. He's getting a lot of press, pissing me off. And this guy might be solid. Off cove, rushing four. Don't like it. Taylor thrown. Is that my daddy? I think my daddy just sent a raid. Hot one. I went from 1,000 to 350 and I just chalked it. Yeah, dude, I don't know. It makes me feel like, does that mean like a lot of our viewers were just like fucking in bed asleep? Is that what that means? I don't know, because I, I was kind of bummed out about it, too. I was like, what the hell? How on? That was for you, Taylor. That was for you, baby. Thank you so much for the raid. What if I just sent six and put... Just, what if I just did this? Is this insane? It's not, because some people can't handle the pressure, right? Some people, when you send pressure, they become a diamond. Some people, just a fat lump of coal. Unable to evolve with the times. I'm cooking up the pressure and you can't handle it. Imagine he, imagine he overthrew that. Like, that's been open every time and I just haven't really been able to get it off like that. My man Ami says, uh, Booger Sugar with East European ladies looking for a one-way ticket to the U.S. of A. God damn. Brother paints a fucking picture, doesn't he? Ami Arbol. That man is, is I think, faded on a little bit more than Red Bull, boys. Okay, so this man... Likely... 
will be sending the house at me. And I likely will be checking it down. Okay. This guy's the diving goat. I should kick three. I mean, this guy's honestly not bad. Call me a pussy. I'm kicking three going up two possessions. I don't want to risk losing this game. Because I went for it here. And I probably miss here. Thank God. Bummy Goat was running 4-3 over A gap. And he was the one who won on the on the touchdown where we went through him. I said in my in the TikTok worst ranked loss ever because majority of people do not know what rank, what gauntlet is. Run it back. Prove you can score against the 4-3. I, I scored well. It wasn't the scoring, it was the defense. My defense couldn't get a stop. That was the problem. I, I had trouble at the beginning, but I feel like overall I did a, Oh god, he's gone. Okay. Get there, Miles, you slow bitch. Alright. This dude's solid. I keep forgetting. Let's lock in. Flow buckets. Thank you for the prime sub. Let's lock in, boys. Let's lock in, okay? Dude. Wow. What a good run. All right. The good thing is he's at the 19. The odds of him taking down the entire clock are fairly low. Jeez, what a terrible fucking... All right, at least I'll get the ball back. No, I only have one timeout. Wait, why do I only have one timeout? I wasted timeouts. I wasted timeouts. I'm an idiot. All right. I didn't think you'd run the ball again. I did not realize that I wasted timeouts, chat. Take him into the end zone. Please take him into the end zone. I'm almost okay if he scores. I'm actually happy if he scores. You gonna run stretch left? What are we doing? No! I didn't even do that. Okay. All right. Third. Hey, maybe we get a stop. To be honest, if, if he ends up scoring on this fourth down, this would have been the worst possible scenario imaginable. Like, there couldn't have been anything going worse. Yes, go down. No! They never go down. Someone told me, don't click anything and they'll go down on their own. I was pressing my stick all the way to the back of the end zone. He didn't go down. Top five running backs right now. McCaffrey, obviously. I think Saquon is up there. I just don't think he's had a good situation. Like, the Giants have been so bad. And a, no one suffers more on a bad team than a, than a running back. Uh, I also think Bijan, even though he's just had his rookie, rookie year, I think Bijan is, like, insanely good. Uh, I think Jameer Gibbs has been really, really, really good. Kyron Williams? Wait, are we, are we putting Kyron Williams in the top five? Really? Someone else said the same thing. Yeah, because if you're ranking someone's skill, you can only talk about what they've done. You can't say, well, I think Saquon is good because he's on the he's on the Eagles, so I think Saquon's good. That makes no sense. I think Saquon's good because of what I've seen of him when he was on the Giants. He didn't have always the stats to show it, but I do think I would put him as maybe the number two. Maybe. I don't know. A lot of good running backs. It's, it's hard to tell who's a product of their team. I think Saquon is insanely good. A chain, yeah. Oh, good high ball. Oh no, good high ball there. I think A chain also has a lot of potential. I think A chain has a lot of potential. I think the rankings for this upcoming team. I think it's more like, like regardless of their team and how they perform, it's like we're just talking skill. That's a hard flat. Okay. All right. Nice. Nice. We're just talking their skill. Like I think just because like you have a bad o-line and maybe your stats aren't going to be good you can still be a top five running back and just because you have a good o-line and get a lot of yards i don't think that makes you good i mean not to say that i mean all running backs are good but Brees hall is insane i love Brees hall yeah sleeping on josh jacobs i just i'm i'm hurt by josh jacobs because uh that's picked no it's not I'm hurt by Josh Jacobs because I'm a Raider fan. But I don't know if I could put him up there with guys like, you know, that are a little faster, a little quicker, got that more breakaway explosiveness. Guys like Jameer Gibbs. Guys like Bijan. You know? GG's, man. GG's. Get there. Damn, Sam Laporta. Dude, Sam Laporta on corner routes always smokes me, dude. It always smokes me. That's got to be picked off, number 40. Got to be picked off. You're saying if you want to you ban, you wanna ban uh, someone who's a fan of another team? I, I, I don't have a problem with that. 
we, we can find a way to make that happen. Good dot. What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? I don't think he want. He doesn't want me to get in uh, in double mug, brother. I can't be caught. I was about to say, dude, trip cove. Trip cove. No ways. No way. Eat him alive. Third and nineteen. Right off my head. Right off my fucking head. I should have caught that. Oh, I played that perfectly. Miss it. Miss it. All right, he got three. I should have had the pick there. That was on me. That was on me. There it is. There it is, buddy. That's McAllister. All right, he's got a lot of speed. He's got 89 speed. I wouldn't, I wouldn't come down and press that guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo. Yo. I just gave up a touchdown because I got way too aggressive. Watch how I played the, the tight end. Look at this. I thought the tight end was going on a corner route, so I tried to switch stick on and beat him to the corner. He was not on a corner route. It could have been bad. Oh, come on. Yeah, Hollywood Brown is coming in too, guys. That this is what I don't get, bro. How do the Chiefs get all these fucking players, bro? Dot. Good dot. Good dot. All right. I should have not ran cover two there. I thought he was going to try to roll out. Dot. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought there was going to be a corner out to the right side. I don't know why. I'm really just giving up easy, easy yards. All right, we got to lock in here. This game is not over. Oh, my God. What was that, dude? There was, like, so much contact, and he just, like, slipped out of there. Yeah, dude, Mark Andrews might be done, though, man. Tonight was not a good look for him. There was that one play. Oh, God. Fucking hell. All right, dude. Stem glitch an out route that runs like a zig. I'm not gonna stem glitch someone unless they stem glitch me to be honest If they don't stem glitch me, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stem glitch them I gotta just take it man. I don't know why I went down. He's got all three timeouts What is with these guys these D linemen coming in untouched like this is not a linebacker who shot a gap. This is a lineman. Wow, he switched stick onto that, bro. He almost got there. He almost got there. That was a really good switch stick by him to see that. I still threw it. And we got it, baby. All right, we got it. What a throw. What a throw. I mean, holy cow, what a throw. What the hell? That was just a slant. He ran he ran that like it was stem glitch. That was just a regular slam, bro. Wow, he ran commit and everything. That was a beautiful run. All right, that's probably game, man. I'm up 17, and there we go. GG's. He's out of there. Play action. Nothing open. There we go. That's got to be grounding. He wasn't out of the tackle box. Really? Come on, baby. Fourth down. Let's go. We shoot gaps. It's what we do. We shoot gaps. How about you? Oh, I tried to dive, but I dove into the fucking my own lineman. We almost had him. We almost had him. Ooh. What does that mean again? All right. Run the ball again, I dare you. Oh, he got me. <laughs> he got me. He's moving on us. Got to be us. That is big play slay. In perfect position. Not only does he not get the ball, doesn't even go for the ball, goes to hit Heinz Ward and just punches his ass. Boom technology, right, boys? 
Good dot. I mean, how the fuck does he make these reads so fast? Bro. The tackling is abysmal. Like, Boom Tech is so bad. Torek Maktu is given to the Navi, who's able to link with a Torek or Rider of the Last Shadow. Love to hear it. But he hit the throw. Hit him in stride. Bro, what? It's a three-man pass rush. Jeez, man. Dude, this guy's listening, I swear. Oh, God. Good defense. Good defense, good defense. Bro, I, I, I pass led it all the way to the left. I pass led that all the way to the left. Jesus, thank you. Oh, God. Oh, good dot. Guys, are actually good, bro. What? <laughs> how? Thank God. I was about to say, how the fuck does that get over his head? How does that get over his head, genuinely? You need eight wins on the event? Wait. Have I been doing... Have I been an idiot? Fourth and goal, you run an inside zone. That is a bold move, man. speed into the open field Velas Jones jr. in the end zone beautiful oh I got juked it do not matter and turn to a savage pockets got fatter she got me daddy but he tried to slide he got his head rocked and he quit out and he quit out I got juked, and then he was about to go down. Didn't see all pro Fred Warner coming at him. Hold on. McAllister in the end zone. Beautiful. Amazing. Exquisite. Hey, Moses, thank you, brother. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the 19-month sub and the kind words. There goes CJ. There goes CJ. There goes CJ. Get in there. Oh, almost. What's the spin threshold now? I don't think there is one. I think they truly just nerfed the shit out of the spin move. Because even with evasive, it's not the same. Even with evasive, it's literally not the same. Pistol. We're in the pistol. That's why you don't run pistol, dickhead. What are you thinking? Not gonna give him time to let anything develop, GG's. Good game. Yo, what's up, Maze? What's up, man? What's up? What's up, man? What's up? Jesus, bruh. It's been a... I'm not trying to be like anything, but it's been a minute since I've been trying to lurk you. I feel bad, but... It's like Madden 22. You've been trying to lurk me for two, two and a half years? Two and a half years? Well, yeah, kind of. But I don't know. I've been like... You, my style, my gameplay off you for the last few years. Like, I literally started playing Madden two years ago, so. For sure. So, what's your record right now? So, what's your record right now? Uh, I am five and two right now. Okay. So. Well, best of luck to you, man. Well, best of luck to you, man. Yeah, you too. Two and a half years of lurking, man. Oh, he's switch sticking and everything. He's switch sticking and everything. This guy might be a demon, Chad. I see him. He's running that 6 1. See, he's running match here. He is. DeGene is fast, but not fast enough. You're gonna have to get that white boy off the field, all right? A white man will never keep up with Marvin Harrison Jr. All right, I can tell you that for a fact. Got him. Oh, I really got him. 
Now that's what I call. Damn him, ass, bro. Big play, Slay. Yeah, nah, I'm giving you a win, bro. I don't know why I'm playing like shit. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, Roy. Good Bye -bye. game, man. All right. Yeah, have a good night. You too. See, Ryan, Ryan sees I get lurked. Now he thinks it's just open season. He just thinks it's open season now. You're such a dickhead. All right, whatever, bro. Ryan, if you guys didn't know, is a top 100 ranked MCS extraordinaire. Thinking he's so sick. Oh, fuck. See? Oh, my God. I got lucky. I got lucky. I got lucky. I got lucky. Yo, that pressure getting in there. All right, we barely got the first down there. Missed his tackle. I was going to be sending five or four. He's sending four. The problem is, even if I score, the hard part's going to be on defense. Dude, you got to hit the throw. I didn't even... Bro, these sideline passes, that's one of the biggest issues I have in this game, is the sideline passes and the toe tapping is so bad compared to previous years. I did not even pass lead that outside. I passed lead it just straight down. Good catch. He almost switch stick the shit out of that. No. Oh my God. The fact that, dude, holy shit. I've, I've, dude, I've had some fucking close calls, bro. I've had some close calls, dude. He's been like a couple inches away from a pick. I'm, I'm giving Ryan a different look than I've given anybody all year. And I don't want to say what I'm doing because then, see, the problem is Ryan's in the chat. And I know he's not doing anything like to be mischievous. It's just we're having a fun game and so he wants to be involved. But if I say what I'm doing, it's going to throw some things off. Oh, I thought I could outrun him. I forgot he's got 88 speed. Where's my three wreck? Jesus. Jesus, bro. That corner route, dude. Every time, every time he's about to get hit, that corner route is wide open. And I should have just seen it in switch stick, but I was I thought he was gonna throw the seam. I don't know why. I thought he was gonna throw the seam. Oh fuck. Dude, it's like you can read my mind, dude. I swear to God. He switched it onto my initial route I was looking at. I hate you, Ryan. I actually fucking hate you. <laughs> I thought there was zero chance you weren't switch sticking off of that. All right, we got it all tied up. We got a little lucky again on that drive. I feel like there's been, been some close calls. All right, we got we got it done. We got it done. Oh, fuck. Yo, was that like a double move? Bro, look at the fucking... Dude, look at the tight end. It looked like he was running a post. Like, I got... Dude, I got routed so hard by the tight end. I clicked on thinking he was running a post. Watch this. He went, I, that looked, that was crazy, bro. I don't know what type of release that was, but it 100% looked like he was running a post. I thought I was fucking, I was cheating in the middle to run the post with him. I knew he was offside, that's why I threw that. I, I don't know why the throw was so bad. Only reason I threw was because he was offsides. I would, I would not have thrown that if he was outside. I was like, let me take a shot. He's offsides. But the throw was like the worst fucking throw I've ever seen. Get my head in the game. That, that, was, a, that was a free play. Of course. The only reason I threw that was because my head was in the game. Because I was paying attention. I wouldn't have thrown that if I wasn't. That man coverage ain't doing shit. He stays on his fucking feet, bro. 
Oh my god. Jesus, dude. Why'd I do that? I 100% thought he was going to switch stick onto the... I thought the switch stick was coming. That I, I played the switch stick. Oh my fucking god. Give me a second in the pocket and I have a touchdown. I almost want to punt this dude. No way the CPU plays that as he switches off. I was running under that was not a hard flat or anything. GG's, it's over. Nice play inside quarters. You can just throw that? That's absolutely nuts that you can throw that with two inside quarters there. There's no clear out route. Did I not put a 15 yard flat? Is there no 15 yard flat? I mean, I'm I am just at a loss as to why some of these things are open. Do zone drops transfer between halves? How do you give that up? Thir oh my fucking god, dude! You are running with that and you just fucking get beat over the top, bro. I said I would take a shot, so I'll take a shot. Basically, yeah. I'm going to take out all my anger on my next opponents. On all my next opponents, they're going to feel it. Is he, oh, he's stem glitching. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. You made me sit up, little kid. You want to stem glitch? I can stem glitch you right back. Yep, there it is. Oh my god, you're gonna keep doing that. Go ahead and try it again, kid. Go ahead and try it again. What the fuck? He threw it that early and still got it. Alright. Time to get in double mug, dude. Alright. I didn't know that would be that open, to be honest. Anybody who's, who's stem glitching post patch is definitely semi comp at least. Because you got to know how to do it. And that this isn't as. Look on TikTok, he's in the comments. Ponyboy says, I'm not trying to stem glitch. Mine just don't actually work. Buddy, you're, you're, yeah, right. That's definitely not the person I'm playing because to say I'm not trying to stem glitch and then immediately go to a scum kick yeah right kid that's probably not you yo i almost got that five games ago guys he sent six Bro, can we not block a one-man pass rush? One-man pass rush. He sent one and got pressure. Are we joking? No way. Why did he run all right? <laughs> Dude. As I threw that, bro, he sprints upfield to the zone. He's wide open in the flats. Look at this shit, dude. Look at my running back in the left flat. All right, he's, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. He's sitting there. He's open. He's open. So I decided to throw it, and he sprints upfield to the guy in coverage. Like, worst possible area you could go. Now he's running gun deuce close where it's like RPO season. Glitch RPOs where you got to essentially pass commit every time. Got to get out there, baby. No! Right between us, dude. I played that so well, I felt the ball just zip between us. Jesus, you little sweat. 
That's a run commit. He would be using Vic too. Oh, he just ran it. No way he's gonna get it. Thank God, dude. What kind of call is that? All right. If I get seven, I probably win the game. If he stops me, I probably don't. I'm gonna be completely honest though. This is the first time I feel like double mugs actually come in. Easy, you won. Yeah, the problem is I got a, I threw a pick on the last drive in the red zone, so. And I got 114, no timeouts. It's actually, oh, I forgot he's fucking scum kicking. Nice. Blocked my running back, bro. No, I didn't. I didn't block my running back. He doesn't get his fucking feet in. This is what I don't like about that addition to the game is like in years past, the last couple years, they've made it so you get your feet in when you do a possession catch like every time. I feel like you don't get that anymore. Nice. I got to kick it all the way over there to, for it to go out of bounds. I didn't even go out of bounds, I bet. Yeah, what the fuck? Bro, is my, is my punter like actual dog shit? My punter might actually be terrible. Bro, what are we doing? Like, why are you taking so long on offense now? Just like snap the fucking ball, bro. Oh, he ran a he ran a match beater. I would love a fumble one of these days, you know. All right, there we go. Yo, is Tucker ass because that barely made it? I feel like my power was good. Dude, you gotta hit the throw. I mean, I don't even, I'm not even free-forming that. I don't understand why these, like the sideline is so fucked this year. Sideline is so fucked this year, dude. Whether it's the feet not getting in or anything else. Sideline's fucked. Oh my God. So risky. He's got his flats at zero. So they're getting out there real aggressively, but I high pass it just over his head. I would love a rack animation that doesn't make him do a 360. I would love that. Dude, a blue pass. He still's got to turn around behind him. All right, can we get a stop? If we get a stop, we can win the game. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't looking at the solo guy. Good dot, that's a good dot. I think he was going to that wheel route. I do think this guy's in the chat because he just dialed up a cover two beater the first time I've ran cover two. I'm so sick of this. I want you to just catch the ball. If you got time to like pause midair and like give a big swaggy ass swat, I would like it if you picked it off. Let's go, baby. Does he punt? I'd be giving these up though, guys. I don't, don't think anything's guaranteed here. I'd be giving these up. Yes, sir. I'm in field goal range. All right, GG's, it's over. Dude, on a Thursday, casual Thursday, 12 beers, that's nuts. But I guess, yeah, Reed's in college, so. Reed's a college aged male. Drinking beers just comes natural, you know? Did I just get sacked from, bro? That's nuts. I'm kicking three, though. All right, I'm going to go pee. I'll be right back. Computer can't do
can't do shit, bro. I'm an idiot, dude. He's in field goal range. I feel like if I was him, I'd just kick a field goal right now. Leave yourself a minute to go get seven. Why do I not jump? See, now he's kicking three. I don't, he was already in field goal range. I don't know why he did that. If you weren't going to see it through, you probably should have kicked three a couple plays ago. Why did you jump for it, 27? I mean, thank God he caught it. All right, we got it done against the super glitchy sweat beast still lurking. Four wins to go. That's fire, bro. That looks sick. All right, I don't know what's going on in this game so far. Bro, I don't feel so slow. All right, here we go. I'm on. I'm an American German living in Germany. I got picked up last year. Nice, brother. Is your team one of the teams that's going to be playing in the Super Bowl, you think? Oh, my God, Luke Keekley. I love you so much. Thank you for making my job easier. A little hard flat out there. Plays the RPO. Good to see. Real good to see. You already there, big dog? Then there we go. Just make sure you know what you're doing and get reps. And that's literally all there is to it. Like, understanding what's good. And then having the muscle memory to execute. Boom! GG's, baby. No. Oh, this guy's got a hell... Oh, my God, he's got a hell team. I have Wiggins. He has... Velas Jones Jr., what I assume has... The plus two speed boost. So he's 89 speed. Bro, I wasn't even pressed. Wait, am I tripping? That's an 88 speed corner. Not even pressed. That just got straight ran by. How does that happen? That was an outside quarter. Not pressed. 88 speed. That is nuts. The fact that he threw that is nuts. You haven't been 90 speed. Oh, I, I didn't realize. I didn't realize you were the guy I was playing. So you, still, though, I mean, 88 speed versus 90 speed is not that crazy. Why did he pass lead it so far upfield? Why did he run it like that? I shouldn't have thrown that. I gotta go for it. I gotta hit that throw. There was so much contact at the top, bro. Here we go. And that hit six brought to you by 1-800 Clock Cleaners. You call us. We clean your clock. Let's go, baby. All right, we're all tied up. Let's get a stop, okay? We're all tied up, baby. There we go. Didn't that shit happen last game, too? Luke Keekley is just reading out those RPOs, man. You put him in a hard flat, and he gets it done. He gets it done. What are we doing, big play? I hate this game, dude. A base line and pressed outside quarter sits behind a corner route with no clear out and doesn't just take a few steps forward, but at least hit him. Just don't let him catch it. Like, how does a zone not see that route or play that route? Like, that's the only route. That's the only route. So four-man pass rushes are God. And they made the coverage on the back end just so bad. Like, that's like their way out of it. No way. Holy shit. Are you Sean Taylor Saturday? Bro, I feel like Sean Taylor, in my opinion, is a little overhyped in Madden. They gave, I think they gave Sean Taylor, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, they gave him... They gave Sean Taylor like 52 man coverage, which I don't know why. Just made him completely unusable. Oh my God, Freddy boy. 
What are we doing? I have a, a fucking hook there. He's just snapping the ball so fast. I can't really get over there. Again, I'm not I'm not getting the defense set up. Colorado versus Nebraska. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I am probably putting every penny I have on Nebraska. <laughs> oh my god, I ran up on that too. I, I I felt he was gonna throw that. He's just wide open back there. I, dude, I'm surprised they didn't give me PI. I was all up on that dude. Pause. Who did I lose to? One of my mods, bro. One of my mods lurked me. He's like a he's like a pro player. And he beat me. But he quit out. So I'm technically 13 and 0. I'm technically 13 and 0. But I actually lost that game, so I put it on my record. Nah, you lost. Well, tell that to EA Sports because Dickhead, in the game it says I'm 13 and 0. In the game it says I'm 13 and 0, buddy. A couple years ago, you know, we felt like the Bengals definitely should have beat the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. But Mahomes got a couple bullshit calls from the refs. And the refs said that the Chiefs won, even though we all know they shouldn't have won. So, take it up. Take it up with this, with, uh, with EA Sports. You sound like Electro? That is some shit Electro would say, huh? <laughs> that is some shit Electro would say. Stream today? I guess he's a Chiefs fan, so probably not. He's probably watching the game and then jerking off to Mahomes. Good dot. Oh, good dot. Something like that. I mean, how long have I been live for, guys? Like, it's probably been longer than that, actually. Maybe like seven hours. This is just throwing shit and getting away with it. Bro. No way I'm making an adjustment right as he snaps. He get clicked off my user. All right, I'm pissed. Just kick me the ball, bro. Watch, he's going to get the onside, bro. I swear to God, he's going to get the onside. I, I, they get the onside of me every time, I swear. Okay, never mind. Quinn Cook follows me. How many celebrities follow you? Wait, what? I didn't know Quinn Cook followed me. Oh, bro, I'm an idiot. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know that. I know that. Yeah, Quinn Cook, me and Quinn Cook played in a, yeah, yeah, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. forgot. Me and him played in a CFM together and we played and he was, uh, he said he liked my streams and shit. We played against each other. We had a couple games, it was fun. He's pretty good at Madden. Bro's got Josh Allen, Max Crosby, and Javon Hargrave. I'm going to smack this guy around. I'm going to show him the 50 state. Not open. Good hands. That's a $1.7 million catch right there. Spent a lot of coins on Jefferson. And there he goes. Look at that man go. That one right there was for Rich Homie Quan. Rest his soul. Bay's Island season two. So once the YouTube video is up, we can get started on season two. And I want to ask you guys, would you guys rather me do like one stream where I do the whole thing in one? Oh my God. Trevor. You didn't need to do that to him. GG's. Go and get your ass out of here. Bro, holy shit. We get the rollout. Great block from the running back. Watch this. Just like... I turned the shoulder so he could get the ball off. And he just put it on a dime. The record is technically 15-0. Okay, I'm changing it now. 
I'm changing it to 15 now so people understand that I'm getting 16 wins and then we can finish. So sorry, if, you, if you're sitting here taking glee in the fact that there was a loss, look again. But I, what I was going to ask is, would you guys rather me do the entire season two in one stream, which would take like 12 hours, like an all day stream, or would you rather split it up? Where I do like a Maze Island University game, like at the beginning of every stream for like five streams, six streams in a row. Maze Island Monarchs, I kind of like that. Okay. Splitting it up seems more practical. But I think the marathon streams go like are fun where like people are like, oh, I start in the morning. 12 hour stream doesn't affect the quality. If you guys would rather me do it split up, that's totally fine. I just thought you guys would enjoy the, like, you know, we start like in the morning. And it's like, oh, run the whole season in one day. So, be, so the stream goers can follow it better, you know? We could split it up though. We could for sure split it up. Bro, what? No way. All right, bro. This dude is just snap throwing it to Ward and I, oh, and he's show, oh, buddy, you want a showboat? You think you're sick as fuck showboating. Think again, dickhead. Joke so good it hits just as hard the sixth time. That's an underthrown pass. No, it's not. I really hit that shit for real though. This time I put him on a streak. That's not a touchdown though, right? Not a touchdown? See, I earned my I earned my touchdown. He just snapped through it to fucking Heinz Ward. Just a quick little Aaron Rodgers style pass. Waking up on the East Coast and see coaches still out. Hey, happy Friday, boys. Happy Friday. Hope you all doing well. We just keep ripping it, bruh. No way. All right, this dude, this dude is a check down merchant. Oh my God. I tried to switch stick and I switch sticked onto my flat, not the corner. That would've been a perfect switch stick. Bro, bro, he's just running stretch. Jesus, okay, let's get some better outside run D, huh? Oh my fucking God, I knew this was coming. This guy's pissing me off, boys. No way we got ran by. No way. Heinz Ward is actually just him, bro. All right. I think we all knew what Fent Slopjaw was. And we all need a little bit of it right now, if you ask me. We could all use a little Fent Slopjaw in our life. Snap the ball. It's just not open. I mean, it's literally not open. Not open. Oh, baby. I cannot believe we hit that throw. Dude, this dude T-Law just does everything. Throw straight schmeeded up on a Friday. How on? Oh, man. Can he stop an RPO? The way he's looking right here, I don't think so. Yeah, no. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. On fourth down, dude. Throwing that on fourth down takes a lot of nuts. A lot of nuts. And a good thing for me is that I got a lot of nuts. You're gonna love my nuts. You follow me, camera guy? You're gonna love my nuts. Okay, why is the slot corner lining up over here? Why is he getting away with this? This dude is just snap, press a button. But he snapped the ball. That's what you get, dickhead. Trying to, trying to roll out glitch me with Tebow. I was ready for it this time, Buster. And that's game over. That's what you get for snap throw and stuff. It's only a matter of time. Great block, 59. Luke Keekley can do it all, man. Stop the run, stop the pass, and lay devastating downfield blocks. And he's out of here. GG's. That's the game, folks. That's it. All right, so we had 100K. Nice. This dude was quick selling for 100K training. Now it's just 100K coins.